He's a weenie worm. What's your favourite thing? Is it me reading documents to you in a game? Yeah. <laughs> Kirkland, I'm growing tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence at my doorstep. I know you want this to be true, but you're, you are head of investigations. This failure is your responsibility. What did you think would happen? Holding a dangerous specimen in Oh, do we have to go in investigations? What dangerous specimen do they have? The containment sector out. exists for a reason. <laughs> what did you say? You're about to find out. Yeah. They are better trained and better equipped for this type of work. In fact, they have admirably taken on certain AWE monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. Probably why we haven't heard of this sector. Yeah. I don't think your petty internal investigations have gone past my notice. You are you are a worm! Uh, dirty worm! <laughs> Maybe he's the worm that you were fighting. He's a... He's a weenie worm! <laughs> what did he say? He was the worm that you were fighting. Yeah, maybe. Oh, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the Bureau. The Prime Candidate Program only failed because of Darling. You are both failures, plotting against me. You are traitors, but the truth will emerge out of you. You're choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be... Oh, Zachariah Trench, Director of the Federal Bureau of Control. So he really didn't like Kirkland, did he? They don't like it. Oh, did he investigate the director? Well, no wonder the director didn't bloody like him. Compiled by Redacted. Official findings report. Uh, per authorization from Mr. Kirkland. Uh... <laughs> Shall I just fill in the blank? Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. clearly not in, in, in the mo mood today. No, you're focusing, aren't you, on your, your work? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, um, big giant bananas was launched into the mouth of Director Zachariah Trench. I think I nailed that one. A recent change in waffles witnessed in Director Trench. What is what? wrong with you in waffles? Included aggressive boogers when picked with other staff has been observed. This makes no sense. <laughs> However, this investigation is aimed at interpreting this issue rather than proving it. Notable tension between Director Trench and Dr. Darling has been witnessed by numerous Bureau staff, although both declined to meet for an interview on the matter. Witness accounts suggest their arguments centre around the dimensional research wing and the projector kept inside. However, no, no evidence exists to confirm Director Trench's um, theories as anything more than interpersonal disagreements. This investigation has concluded that Director Trench's behaviour is not indicative of any... I don't know. And that his fitness to lead is not in question. Alright, so he got investigated, but he's fine. But then, he wasn't very happy about being investigated by that bastard Kirkland. That oh. little bastard. Would you be uh, happy? What about being investigated? Yeah. Not, no, probably not if I'd done nothing wrong. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that. Yeah, it's funny that's a thing, eh? <laughs> it's like I've got some experience with this. <laughs> <laughs> Official findings report regarding incident hashtag A-49 or number 8. Well, I don't know. Uh, anyway, summary. The purpose of internal investigations X-039-7 is to examine the containment failure of specimen SI-1. What's SI? Sick individual number one. <laughs> that resulted in the deaths of... Number. Just a number. Come on, pull a number out your butt. Any number. Agents. <laughs> An inspection report of the containment equipment three days earlier showed no faults. Investigators suspect human error to be the cause, yet no department has proved, provided any evidence to support this. Technicians were able to recover the researchers' notes on the specimen from the internal network. On the 3rd of March, the specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive behaviour. Cross referenced in that date with various logs found only two events inconsistent with the sector's daily routine. One, the air filters were changed, and two, an hour prior to the incidents, a civilian named Alice Bottoms entered the sector regarding an unrelated investigation. How did Alice Bottoms get in here? Uh what, just her bottom? She's an she's a civilian. Read the projector. <laughs> given, maybe, given their connection to the same AWE case, it is likely that Mrs. Bottom's presence is relevant to the specimen's escape and to the carnage. I don't know. Investigation is ongoing. Cool. 
I, I, I kind of hope, like, they do... Ugh, it'd be so pointless, but they do, like, release a thing where all the redacted stuff are unredacted. I don't know if I'd want to play the whole game again to read all of the things, but... <laughs> do you know what I mean? No, you wouldn't. Probably. I, I love this game. It's one of my favourite games. Something definitely happened here. Yeah, look, they've, they've cordoned it all off, Claire. Blessed organisation. Huh? Suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Paracriminal profile. The blessed organisation. Do you say it blessed or blessed? Because sometimes I feel like you have to say it blessed or am I making this up? Is this something I've made up in my mind? Maybe. <laughs> this group slash individual has operated outside a bureau's notice for decades, perhaps longer, displaying a level of skill and caution rarely seen in paracriminal groups, run by a, a person named Clefairy the Klutz. <laughs> she secretly hides in plain sight. <laughs> Her review of past cases... was that? You haven't seen me for a while, but I've seen you. Uh, and that's what it's all about. Well, you, little did you know. I work for the investigation sector, and I know everything, Claire. Oh, no, apparently not, because the investigation sector is very understaffed, and we don't do our job properly. <laughs> a review of past cases have found various mentions of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called Blessed Pictures was connected to an altered item case, as well as the death of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials. In 1994, a Los Angeles-based public speaker named Chester Bless was involved in the illegal use of an altered item. In 1988, a business called Blessed Repair and Service was suspected of involvement with an object of power case, perhaps even creating it. None of their, these businesses or individuals have be, ever been located. However, the connection to appearances of altered items and objects of power is too direct to be considered circumstantial. An arrest order has been issued for any persons believed to be involved in the Blessed organization. Well, do you think we're going to find out about more about them, or is that just a random... Random thing. Oh no. Here we go. Off to our favorite place. Are you ready? Yeah. Do we know each other? Oh. I feel this feels familiar. Uh, I can't see the, the spiral door is open. I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. What? I'm my name is Alan Wick. <gasps> Oh my god, we found him! What is happening? My br my brain! Oh, it's like the end of 2001! Ah! Oh! Who are you? Um. Is that his character? What? Who are you? Do I know you? I'm your friend Tom. Tom Zane. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. I feel I need to play Alan Wake to know Tom, more. You look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist uh, I played in my, my old film. I'm a oh filmmaker. God, this is weird. An old hey, character Tom. like yourself. It's glitching. I love this. I actually love this. <laughs> together, remember? An artistic collaboration. He is freaking out. Drink. I don't think drink's gonna help him. Oh, there's Dr. Darling! He was on the TV! Yep. This is m yeah. crazy. Mm. Darling Casper also plays Alan Wake. The guy who plays <laughs> Dr. Darling Casper plays Alan Wake. Is he? Yeah. Obviously, yes. there was no motion capture back then. Darkness. Yeah. He just did the voice. We're very close now. You've been right. I think I'm, I think that's correct. I found a way to escape. It'll work this time. Riding. You found a way. No. I, I this don't... is really off-putting. Just the animations and. There's something. It's uh... my dog. He's out there. Double? Nothing to What? <laughs> I'm dealing with it. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. What? He's double. What the hell? He's... Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. 
Is Casper his double? Claire? I don't really know. That was Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on. 